Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Ridge Broadcasters. Thank you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Doug, they call him the songbird of West Asheville. Some people know him as the carpenter. We're gonna have him sing you a classical blues, bluesy kind of number called Stagger Lee. There was also a brief rumor, I think, maybe because of my height and the uh, smallness of this guitar, that I was a giant. And I just wanna let you all know out there in Radio Land, it is totally true. <laughs> Rainy 
1989. Old Staggy Lee and Bill and I, they had a great big fight. Talking about bad man, you know, Staggy Lee. Thank y'all so much. All right, we're gonna do one that I first heard from uh, Roscoe Holcomb. It's called Trouble in Mind. They call him the carpenter. <laughs> We're going to close out with a fiddle tune from uh, one of my fiddle mentors, Benton Flippin. It's called Salt River.
Thank you. by Arthur Smith and we actually have another Arthur Smith tune. Okay. I just realized that we're going to But we learned that tune next. from a dear friend of ours, one of the finest fiddlers of any generation that's alive right now and it's Mike Bryant. He lives near Knoxville, Tennessee and he's a humble man and a fabulous musician. So look up his music sometime. We were uh, we were talking earlier today trying to decide which tunes we'd like to play tonight and uh, it was said about this next tune that it will uh, either wake you up or give you indigestion. Uh, so for those of you that play old time music, you know that chord selection um, can really flavor uh, a tune. So this one uh, also comes from Arthur Smith, I believe. It has the unfortunate name of Darlin' Honey. Which sounds like it would be very sweet, <laughs> and you'll hear with the first chord that maybe sweet is not the first flavor that comes to mind. Thank you. 
what we're going to do for you. Um, we uh, One of the wonderful things about um, sort of traditional American string band music is that it has just a rich and beautiful and complicated sort of cultural history. And of course the banjo comes from Africa, um, but that this next tune that we're going to play for you comes from uh, a Native American uh, fiddler named Manco Sneed, who lived down in Cherokee, North Carolina, and just had this beautiful, spooky, powerful, uh, wonderful uh, style of, of fiddling. And, and Keep that and name so. in your mind for the Jeopardy uh, category of fiddlers named Manco, okay? Right. <laughs> uh, so this is... This is his Goodbye Girls. <laughs> Thank you. 
that, that, thank you. That tune was half Irish. Uh, it was written by a fiddle player uh, named Snake, Owen Snake Chapman, who uh, lives, lived near Pikeville, Kentucky. And uh, he wanted to write a tune that sounded like some of the Irish tunes that he had heard. And that's what he came up with. <laughs> so, and he called it, he, he knew, and he called it half Irish. <laughs> Next tune, uh, we all learned eventually from a, a, a great fiddle player who lives in Greensboro named Rich Hartness. Um, I, Mary and I learned it from a um, Floyd County musician that you all, all know, a uh, great banjo player named Mac Trainum. So. Right there. Who <laughs> <laughs> recorded it with Jay Garrett? It's Georgia Rob. Sharp's Hornpipe. It was untitled, but that's what we call it. <laughs> no, nope, we're just going to play fast. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the all-time snake milkers. player with us but he cut his finger pretty badly cutting a pizza the other day so uh, we're trying to make do here but we don't need no guitar it's not old time right all right we're gonna do a little medley uh, Knoxville rag and the Tennessee Fox chase which has lots of dog barking in it so if you, you'll know we'll show you <laughs> Thank you. 
mighty fine, mighty fine. Wow, man, that sounds, that just sounds great, you guys. Um, you guys want to take a second to introduce the band? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. See, on the mandolin, we got Leighton Scott Friends. And on the banjo and harmonica, we got Mikey Collins Jr. On the bull fiddle, we got Ryan Marley Grant. <laughs> and on the fiddle, Colby Peg Joplin from the Middlebrook Hills of Virginia. All right, all right. How'd you guys meet up? Where'd you guys meet up and start playing this music? Um, that, that would be many, many years ago. We, uh... We're sitting out late night under a full moon at a music festival, and we heard we heard the call of the fiddle from the distance. In the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Uphill both ways through the snow, and we uh, found each other in the middle of the night. As, uh, maybe as the sun rose. Let's make it more romantic. <laughs> Sun's I like rising. The story. It's a good behind story. us, also a full moon, and uh, drinking that really good water that they had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spring water. Mm -hmm. That was yours. Mm -hmm. Raw water out of the mason jars. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we, right. just, we just started playing music together, and we said, hmm, this doesn't sound half bad. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't sound half bad. It sounds whole bad. <laughs> no, you guys sound great. Tell, I'm, I'm curious about the, the repertoire. You know, I, I recognize the, the, the melody, the me melody, gosh, the medley to, of tunes that you guys just played, but the first one was a new one on me. Where'd that one come from? That's a Gus Cannon tune. That's where I know it from. Jug Stompers? Uh, Cannon's Jug Stompers. Yeah. I've heard at least three different recordings with him on it. Okay. So, solo okay. as well. So early jazz. Um, yeah, I can't early remember. Blue 20s banjo blues. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, I can't uh, remember the last time I've seen somebody do what's basically a plectrum, so, a plectrum yeah. jazz solo on a banjo and a string band. That, yeah. was, that was awesome. <laughs> well, I normally actually play a plectrum up here. I'm just trying to do my best Sam impression. The guy with the hurt finger plays a five string banjo, so I'm trying to do both. But uh, I'm a plectrum player originally. That, make, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys have a record out? We do. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it's recorded with the three of us and, and uh, Sam, the Hurt Guy. Ryan, Ryan wasn't in the band quite yet, but uh, we got a really good sound out of uh, old Joe Bass using two condenser mics. Banged it out in a day. It's 20 string band tracks, a lot of old time, but some of that bluesy and jazzy stuff too. Rags and singers, all kinds of stuff. And they have some copies up at the front there. That's great. What's the name of the record? Raw Milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, the old time snake milkers. Where did, who, who came up with that one? They had that band name when I met them. All right. All right. <laughs> My hands are clean. What, what was the inspiration for that? Well, we were, you know, this is old time music and we were trying to think of old timey vocations that one might pursue. And uh, somehow the concept of snake milking came up, which if you don't know, is people used to go out and collect venomous snakes and then uh, get the venom out of them, which you then inject into horses, and the horses produce the antibodies, and that's how you treat snake bites in a hospital, is with the antibodies from a horse, someone has to get the venom first. So we figured that's pretty old timey, and then it, uh, we, we figured it also turns out Mikey's dad here was a, uh, a, a he, snake milker himself. Well, he trapped water moccasins on James Island, South Carolina, where I'm from and sold them snake milkers. There you go. It, they come by it honestly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Somewhat. They've got a, I believe they've got a, yeah, let's give them a hand. They're, they sound really great. I believe you guys have a couple more tunes for us? Sure. All right, let's give them a hand, the old time snake milkers.
Banjos in Star Trek. Because it's the future. Ain't that 